In today's video, we are going to tell you everything you need to know about the best state to form an LLC in for non-US residents. Here are the six steps that we're going to be covering in today's video. Now, if you don't want to do any of this work in setting up your LLC yourself, you can use a company like Northwest to help set up your LLC for you. If you want to see a full tutorial on how to set up your LLC with Northwest registered agent, we'll leave a timestamp here. Go ahead and go to that portion of the video. And we have a full walkthrough of how to set up your LLC with their website. We recommend Northwest to all our friends. It's a really affordable way to to set up your LLC in a really short amount of time with no headache at all. Okay, now let's get right into the video. Okay, before you get into these steps, let's cover a couple quick things you need to know about registering for your LLC as a non-US resident. Non-US residents and foreigners are legally allowed to register for an LLC in the United States. However, you don't fall into the same category. Non-US citizens are referred to as aliens. This just means that you do not hold a US passport and that you're a citizen of another country. Now within this category, there's non-resident aliens and resident aliens. Aliens. Resident aliens meet one of the following two tests, the green card test or the substantial presence test. Now, if you don't meet one of these two tests, then you are considered a non-resident alien. Both of them are legally allowed to form LLCs in the US, but you have to file a different tax form. Another note here is that non-US citizens are legally allowed to form an LLC in the US, but this does not give them authorization to work in the US. This means that you can run your LLC from your home country, or you can hire someone in the States to run it for you. Here are some quick benefits of LLCs. The first one is is asset protection. Whether you're a citizen or you're not a citizen, you have the same protection under an LLC. Personal assets are generally going to be safe from lawsuits. Second thing is ease of maintenance. LLCs typically have lower maintenance when compared to corporations. You're not required to have a board of directors or shareholder meetings. Number three is economic access. Starting an LLC in the United States gives you access to the world's largest economy. And this can also lend to business credibility as well. The last thing here is pass through taxation. A pass through entity just means that the profits and losses are passed through to the tax returns of its members. Just a quick note here as well, non-citizen LLCs can elect to be taxed as a C Corp, but not as an S Corp. Okay, now that we've said all that, let's get right into step number one, which is to choose a state. So the best two states to form an LLC for non-US residents are Delaware and Wyoming. Delaware has business-friendly tax laws preferred by investors. Delaware also has ultimate privacy in that LLCs are not required to disclose their members' names. Wyoming, on the other hand, has very similar protection to Delaware. In addition to those privacy benefits, benefits, Wyoming also has no personal state income tax. Also, just a quick note here, if you have employees in a certain state in the US, you are going to be required to register there as well. Step number two is to choose a name for your LLC. So here are some of the naming guidelines for Delaware and Wyoming. In Delaware, the name of your LLC must include limited liability company or the abbreviations L.L.C. or LLC. Wyoming has similar naming guidelines, but they also allow for limited company to be used. This can be abbreviated as LC or LLC. L .C you can also use LTD dot liability co dot or limited liability co dot. You can also use these abbreviations for limited liability company. Now your name cannot be confused with a government agency like the FBI, CIA, Treasury, or State Department. And you're going to want to make sure that the name you choose is available in the state you choose. So you want to go to the Secretary of State website for your state. You also want to make sure you choose a name with an available URL in case you want to make a website in the future. Step number three here is to hire a registered agent. A registered agent is a person or business responsible for sending and receiving legal documentation on behalf of the LLC. This might include tax forms, lawsuits, and government forms. This person must be a full-time resident of the state that you register in. And this can be an employee or a registered agent service. Now we're going to show you how to use Northwest to set up your registered agent service. Now the reason why you don't want to be your own registered agent is because all the information that you file with will be on the public domain. This can include things like address, phone number, and any other personal information that you do not want to be out on the internet. And technically for this role, you have to be available all the time. It's better to just use a service like Northwest. This is what most businesses do. And the service ranges from $100 to $150 per year. But if you use a service like Northwest, they are going to provide a free year of registered agent when you form your LLC with them. So there are some steps that you will need to do after forming your LLC. And we're going to talk about those a little bit later on in the video. For now, go ahead and click on that link down below and we'll go ahead and walk through this formation process together. Once you've clicked on that special link down below, it'll bring you to this page here and you'll see that for $39, you can have your LLC set up today. Let's go ahead and click get started. Now for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to register with Delaware. Here you'll be able to choose what entity you want. We are going to choose LLC. Then go ahead down here to select state and we're going to go down and choose Delaware. And then the company filing options will pop up here and you'll see that you can do 11 day processing, nine day processing and seven day processing for different fees. The standard rate for Delaware is $110 to file. Now just note that Northwest doesn't get any of this money. This is going to 
directly to the state of Delaware to process your application. And then if you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see the beneficial ownership information. We will leave that clicked for now. Northwest only charges $9 to set it up and we're going to talk about it a little bit later on in the video. Basically though, it's a new requirement that started January 1st, 2024 and most LLCs will have to provide this information. More info on that later. Let's go ahead and click continue for now. Next, it'll bring you to the company details page and we'll have to put our business name in now. Next, it'll ask if you want to send a copy of lawsuits and legal notices to your attorney. I'm going to click no for now. After that, you'll have to put in your business purpose. Go ahead and enter that. I'm going to use the generic business purpose for now, but you would want to enter your specific business purpose. And then as you scroll down here, you'll see our registered agent service for both mailing and physical address. Like I said before, this is a free service for one year with Northwest. So you want to click our registered agent for both of these questions. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click continue. Next, it brings us to company management. Now you have to decide whether you want to be a member managed LLC or a manager managed LLC. A member managed LLC is probably what most people are going to use. That's when you yourself are managing your business and a manager managed is when you hire someone to manage your business. So if you're a non-resident and you're hiring somebody in the United States to manage your business, then you're going to want to choose that. But for the sake of this video, let's just do member managed, which means I am going to manage my own business. I'm going ahead and put in my information here for member one, and then you can add other members here as well. And you'll want to make sure that you use our registered agent address on this question here. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and click continue. Next, you're going to go ahead and put the contact details in here. I'll go ahead and enter that. Once that's finished, you can go ahead and click continue. After that is account setup. It's going to ask you for your email address, and then you can click generate password and then click continue. Next is business identity. Now this is a free 90 day trial that Northwest provides to you. It includes domain name registration for one year. This includes a website hosted by Northwest, but owned by you. This includes a business email address and business phone number as well. I'm going to leave it checked for now. Let's go ahead and click continue. Next is the optional items page. These are at an additional cost. So the tax identification number that we're going to talk about a little bit later, they will file this EIN number for you. Next is the S corp election for $50. They'll file form 2553 for you. Then is the mail forwarding service and the trademark service. We'll leave these all off for now and we'll click continue. Lastly is payment information. I'm going to go ahead and insert my information now. And once you've finished, you can go ahead and take a look at the order summary before you click continue. So for the basic package, it's $39. And then that $110 fee that we're going to have to pay to the state of Delaware, whether we go through Northwest or not. Lastly is that BOI report that they're filing on our behalf for only $9. For a total of $150, it's a really great deal and it saves so much headache and make sure that you're compliant in all the areas that you need to be. We highly recommend that you use a service like Northwest. When you're finished here, you can go ahead and click done. Okay, now that we've finished going through that walkthrough, there are a couple more steps that we need to talk about. Step number four is file your articles of organization or your certificate of formation. These are the same thing. They're just called different things in Delaware and Wyoming. In Delaware, it's called the certificate of formation. In Wyoming, it's called the articles of organization. So your LLC is truly formed when you create this document. You'll have to check the Secretary of State website or the government website for your state. We'll leave links here so that you can check those out. Step number five is to obtain your EIN number. The EIN number acts as a social security number for your business. Non-citizens without a social security number or ITIN number cannot file this online. Now this is form IRS SS-4. You can file it by phone, mail, or fax. Here's some of the information that is required for this form. Name of your business, US business address, explanation of your LLC, name of LLC member with priority control, business start date, fiscal year end month, expected number of employees, and third party designee to receive your EIN number. Step number six is to open a US bank account. Now you won't be able to open a US bank account until you have received your EIN number. And most traditional banks are going to want you to walk in and hand over your information in person. And they're going to require the following, passport and ID card or driver's license from your home country, articles of organization or certificate of formation, your LLC operating agreement, your EIN number, your proof of LLC's US address. And also they could potentially ask you for your address in your home country. So that's the traditional bank route with a bank like Chase, Wells Fargo or Bank of America in America. Now some online platforms like Wise, PayPal and Stripe are not valid bank accounts to satisfy this requirement. The best option for non-US residents here are online banking platforms. We recommend Mercury. We'll leave a link down below in the description so you can check them out. But basically Mercury is FDIC insured and they were actually created to provide a banking option for startups. Like we said, link is down below. Go ahead and check them out. Now, next thing we want to talk about here is a physical US mailing address. So this isn't required, but it is going to help you take out loans if you need to and open a US bank account. You can make this your home address if you live in the US. And the best option here is just to hire Northwest as a registered agent service and they will have your mailing address for you. Lastly, let's briefly discuss just a couple tax forms that you'll need to file. Here are some of the federal LLC tax filing requirements. So these are for non-citizen single member LLCs. Resident aliens will need to file form 1040. 
1040. And then non-resident aliens are going to need to file form 1040NR. In addition to form 5472 and form 1120. And together these forms will report the profit and loss for each partner. Next is foreign owned multi-member LLCs. If this is the case for you, you're going to be considered a partnership for tax purposes. You'll need to file form 1065, including schedule K-1. Each member will also have to file form 8804 and 8805 if the LLC has income connected to US trade or business. Just a note here that individual members are going to report their share of profit on their personal tax returns. And then again, this is form 1040 NR for non-residents. Okay, lastly, we want to discuss the BOI report that we talked about earlier in the video. This is the beneficial ownership information report that is required starting January 1st, 2024. We created an entire video around just this topic. We'll link it here and down below in the description as well. You can go ahead and check that out for more information. All the resources that we talked about today are linked down below in the description. Go ahead and check those out if you need them. Just a note here, this is not financial advice. You really want to consult your attorney and accountant to make sure that you're getting information specific for your situation. That's all we have for you today on what the best state is to form an LLC for non-US residents. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this in the future, give us a like and subscribe down below. It really helps out the channel. This channel is dedicated to providing entrepreneurs and business owners like you with free tutorials like this one. We hope you got some value out of this video. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.